friends, welcome in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As always, we recollect ourselves firstly. Just put everything aside. Different things may want to distract us. Just to take us away from this moment. So we leave it all there, whatever is worrying us or concerning us. Whatever you have to do today, just leave it aside. Just make this decision now to be focused on what we're doing here. Just want to just dedicate myself to just listening now for the next while, the next minutes. I'm not going to think about anything else. I'm going to nothing else matters now. Just to just to be with you, Lord. to give you everything now. Just to see yourself in this world. Amongst all these other people. Where you find yourself just. We can always ask ourselves who we are again. It's not a simple question with a simple answer. It's it's one of the most important questions because so many people don't know who they are. So many people are lost. So many people are always distracted and confused. They spend their whole life searching. Maybe searching in the wrong places. Allowing their bodies. To. Dictate direction where they go let us ask ourselves again who am I who am I who are you in this world a world that does not belong to us
Just look at yourself. In, in the world, I, you know, I'm, I don't know really where I've come from, why I have to be here and I, a lot of things can harm me in this world. I don't realize how how dangerous it is at times and how people affect me and places affect me and I just find out how vulnerable I am, how easy it is to, to be hurt and to be offended by this world and people in it. Many people are sick today and more getting sick. And yet I am here. It is another reason who has put me here? Was it my, obviously my parents? What about my life? What about, what about me? Parents didn't really choose this life for me. You know, did someone, who else, someone else send me here into this world to be? Is there someone else behind me in all of this? I didn't, didn't decide about my birth. I didn't. It just seems I don't have much control. I'm here and I have to live this. It's like a the darkness of life, the confusion, the unknowing. And then I will die. I will leave this world even though I may not want to I may be comfortable and yet I find myself getting older as the years go by so I can't run away from this reality I, I'm death is coming and just as I was thrown into this life, into existence. It is extraordinary. But I was given life as a baby and, but also I am given death. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it. No control over my life. Can't escape this. Even with sickness, some of us have got sick and others may get sick and not just COVID and all of that. 
so many other things. I can't escape it. We are so vulnerable to so many things. We feel that insecurity. You know, it's normal. It's, it's an existential fear that everyone Everyone experiences. So who am I? Who do I, who do I belong to? All these people in this world of, of evil and sickness and death, you know, how, how am I to remain protected in this? How am I to remain healthy and whole in a world that seems to be falling apart? How am I to have peace and to be secure? So is there someone else? I know I can't see anyone. Is there someone holding all of this reality? Someone behind me? In the space around me? Is it, is it empty? Am I alone or are there Sympathetic eyes watching over me. Was I actually planned? Was all of this me coming to earth and living like this? Was there a designer? Did someone wanted me, someone sent me into this life. Like I, I, I didn't choose this, you know, I, I just turned up out of the blue. So who chose me? You know what, it is silly really to, to say that God doesn't have any contact, anything to do with this. You know, we, we read about him. He, we, we hear you are worth more than many sparrows, we read from our scriptures. I every hair on your head has has been counted. And you know we're Every star in the heavens has been given a name. All the millions of them and the billions of them. It's 
So I have to get up at night and just look up into these stars. I have to ponder this question and ask myself, you know, where is my place here? Where is my ending in all of this? Because I can't, I can't live forever. I can't. It would, I can't just live without knowing who I am. With no name or no path to go, no purpose to live for. Why am I here in this world then? Why am I here among all these other people? Let's accept this, friends, that the space around us, even now this morning, as we, s we sit here together in this space, it's not an empty space. Jesus said, my words are spirit and life. That this space is, is it's not just filled with air and invisible particles. It, it's full. It's full of something. Even though I can't see it with my naked eye, but the one who did choose me, the one who destined me to live, he is, he is standing right here beside me. He who is the source of everything, the source of life. That there is someone holding me. And we, we call him, call him God. We call him the Almighty, the Creator. So look. He's the one in whom life begins. So look at the Almighty Father, look at him coming to you. He's a person. He speaks, he, he speaks to us, his word, his spirit. He says, my son, my daughter, I know why I have put you here on this earth. We just we just look at him. We just become aware of him looking at us. Look at him coming to you. Who loves you the most. He says, you know, you may not know me, but I know everything about you. I know, I see you sitting down, I see you getting up in the morning. I'm familiar with all your ways. Yes, the hairs on your head have been counted. I have made you in my image. 
and you're you're you are my offspring, you are my child. Even before you were conceived, I knew you. Before you came to birth, I consecrated you. You you weren't a mistake, no matter what your circumstances. But every day of your life was determined by me, written in my book of life. I knew exactly when you would come to birth and when where you would live and who your parents would be and the people you would interact with and the life you would live. And well, can you see how wonderfully you have been made and fashioned? How close you are to me. Friends, we have to Surrender to this truth of our Creator, how close our God is. To know even now that we stand before him. The one who sent us into this world. We stand before God himself. This is the truth of our existence. Let's just immerse ourselves into this reality. You and God are here together. It is wonderful that you exist. It is wonderful. Life is wonderful. Let's acknowledge the wonder of our lives. There is someone who is, who loves me. My God. His desire to lavish his love upon me, even now this morning, simply because I'm his child, I'm, and he is my father. My God loves me, as the song is sung, his love never ends, and he rests within my heart, he is in me, in his spirit. Just marvel and wonder at all we have received, that he's given me this life and everything in it. And I just have to submit to this truth that I'm not alone in this world. God has given me everything. Even just my very self, think of think of my physicality, the shape of my body and my height and my arms and legs and you know we can be all so proud of ourselves and we can love ourselves inappropriately, putting on our makeup and all this, but Maybe we're, we don't like our how we physically look, but it's not our issue. I, I can't escape from myself. I can just accept myself. So 
को even my my abilities or my health you know everything was given we all have our own lives our situation our intelligence whether we're rich or poor we're here we've come from a family and we've grown up and been educated and And some of us have done well, others have failed, you know, th that's it. Weren't good enough in that exam or whatever. So it's, is it, it's not the most important thing, you know, I, I failed many exams and to be given life, to be given a task or a path to follow. Maybe that is more important than education and career. The Our Father in Heaven is offering us something much more than this world can offer. But there is a reward for faith that maybe this is the most important exam of all to believe in someone to believe in my uniqueness my originality and I just you know there is no one the same as me I am unique in this world. Did God not tell us you are precious in my eyes? That I have a plan for you. I want I want to provide for all your needs. How I rejoice over you. How I want to to do good for you. How I want to establish myself in your life, to reveal myself, to show you so many things. Let's just be still for this last moment in, in our thoughts, just to just to try and en envisage where where your security of life really lies. Is it is it in this world? Is it in exams and career? And do you feel that pressure and anxiety? You carry that worry of today that you have to plan everything and do everything and put up with everything. Or do you have something deeper, an awareness of a true security? If you are still troubled about life, and carry fear or anxiety. Just bring it. You know, Jesus is here. He he always says, "Do not be afraid. What you will eat or what you will drink, what you will wear, all these worldly things. Your heavenly Father knows all you need." So. 
So tell Jesus if you have something still troubling you, maybe you could talk to Jesus. Because he, he's the one that heals us of everything, doesn't he? He came to free us from fear and sin and death. So maybe he's the one Father has sent to bring us this security. Oh Lord Jesus, you came to this earth just as I did. But somehow you still exist. You are still here. I ask you this morning to touch my life as you touched so many people in your life and heal their wounds and their anxieties and questions about life. Think of the woman at the well how you told her everything she did. And you offered her the living waters. Lord Jesus, I ask you to this morning to free me from every, every doubt, every anxiety and insecurity. I just want to live in safety today. I want to feel secure in myself that you are with me and the Father is with me. I just, I'm just afraid, Jesus, of, of being deceived taken advantage of maybe laughed at today or maybe I might get lost today I'm, I'm going into town today with all these young people we're going to Wembley with the confirmation kids it's just it's just I'm just jumping into the unknown I don't know these people they don't know me there's so much insecurity in all of them and paranoia and peer pressure and it's just so many fears and yet is it possible is it possible that you've left us in all this fear and this evil that I have to face today, or maybe, you know, Jesus, when you lived on earth, you didn't, you weren't afraid, you, and you loved everybody, and everyone loved you, as they love you today, just lead me to this place of love, I can entrust myself to you. Jesus, break these chains of fear and anxiety. Give me a strong faith. Be near me now, Lord. Let me feel that closeness. Remind me I, that I, my father is the one who has a plan for today. My future has been filled with a hope because of his love. I want to walk in that blind faith today that I may delight in you, Lord, in your providence, in your protection in your care for me. 
How wonderful it is to live in trust. How wonderful it is to to believe and to delight in my God. To renounce every fear and anxiety, just to to recognize that I can do that you can do more for me than I can even ask or even imagine. Because you are my father who who comforts me in all my troubles. I don't have to worry for anything. Because you are always there close to me. Carrying me like a shepherd carries the lamb in its arms. You carry me today close to your heart. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for revealing the Father to me. See how he takes away all fear and anxiety and loneliness and he he just hugs me and affirms me. He's my protection. So important. We read from sacred scripture, I am your father and I love you even as I love my son, Jesus. And it's in my son, Jesus, that I reveal this love I have for you. My child, I am not against you. I am for you and I'm I came to tell you that I'm not counting your sins. I'm not counting your mistakes, but I only desire to be reconciled to you. Nothing can separate you from me again. Come to me. I will give you rest and security. I've always been there. I've always been father. And will always be father. The question is, will you be my child? I wait for you now.
So let nothing trouble you. Let nothing frighten you. For everything passes, but God will never change. Patient endurance will obtain everything. Whoever has God wants for nothing at all. God alone is enough. God alone is enough. Whoever has God wants for nothing at all. God alone is enough. God alone is enough. Whoever has God wants for nothing at all.